Welcome to Dear Show, coming at you from Johannesburg for the BRICS Summit. I've been darting around, chit-chatting with experts, politicians, scholars, and media mavens. Join us as we dive into the scorching hot topic. China is a good example for all the world, all countries of the world, and especially underdeveloped countries. Everywhere in South Africa, everywhere in Brazil, everywhere in the world, it is Chinese solar energy products and technology that helps our countries and the global south. China and Africa's connections are very strong. Chinese uh, implement a lot of projects in Africa for the benefit of uh, African people. I think it's a win-win cooperation. China is the most dominant of the BRICS countries when it comes to its collaboration with Africa. And Chinese companies and farms have led to over 20% economic growth for African economies in the last decade. And that for us, we don't take it for granted. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for your initiative to really include Africa, to enhance BRICS, to promote diplomacy around the world, to give voice to the privilege. To make magic during BRICS so that we can strengthen our relationships with all the BRICS countries, particularly with China. Thank you. China is, at moment, one of the most potential the world, in terms of economic growth. And Africa is, at this moment, also a maior reserva de matérias-primas e achamos que essa troca a África pode ganhar muito com o desenvolvimento das infraestruturas, com uma melhor exploração das suas matérias-primas, que possa também beneficiar os seus povos. A África precisa da cooperação da China para desenvolver, para ter uma boa agricultura, indústria e desenvolver. Nós sabemos que durante muito tempo as matérias-primas da África foram exploradas, mas sem benefício do seu próprio povo. Foi em benefício de outras, outras comunidades, de outros povos. Agora, com a relação mútua, achamos que, que é uma oportunidade para os países africanos beneficiarem também eh, do seu potencial económico, do seu subsolo técnico. The uh, over 40, 40 countries are interested in joining the I'm happy to know that over half that number is from Africa. The African countries believe that BRICS offers them an alternative model of development, an alternative grouping for global governance imagination, and an alternative um, framework for intercultural collaboration. So I believe put together, the BRICS provides a very strong framework for global self collaboration. Africa is the last frontier for growth in the world, and I think China has done quite a lot and I'm particularly impressed by the Belt and um, Road Initiative which the President uh, of China launched a few years ago. It's almost 10 years now since that happened. It's an opportunity to review um, progress made so far and to further exonerate. It also provides an opportunity to enhance the BRICS initiative to re re reinvigorate the story of South-to-South -South collaboration. Stick around, the good stuff ain't over. Next time, we're diving deep into how Briggs is checking up the game for the Global South. And you won't want to miss it. <laughs>